Good morning. So last night, I covered a story. Um, when I was going through the headlines, it was a story that I had forgot to put up as a, uh, as a conversation topic. And, uh, and as I ran across it in the list, it's like, ooh, I forgot about this. So I opened it up then, and I went into, you know, the article, talked about it a little bit. And I realized that I needed to clip out that section of last night's show and put it in its own video because it's that important. And and what I covered, and I'm going to leave the links. I've got two articles here. What I covered last night was this particular article right here. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, the video from last night of what I said. And then I'll be back with an, well, I don't know if it's an update. Can you, is it an update if, uh, is it an update if the new information, quote unquote, that I have to offer is, uh, from 10 years ago? Huh. There's something funny going on. Watch what I had to say last night when I covered the article. Stick around and wait and see what I have to show you after that. Study warns about male chromosome. Chromosome. Oh yeah, this is this is this is messed up. So, well, as it says here, a study has led researchers to believe that the male Y chromosome might disappear in the future. Such a hypothesis emerged after scientists examined the Japanese spiny rat species. The rats in question no longer depend on an, the old male chromosome to encode male sex characteristics. Instead, a totally new mRNA vaccine, oh, I'm, I mean, uh, a totally new one is evolved to take its place. Scholars from Hokkaido University revealed in work published last month in the journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Scientists that now that they have mRNA technology, uh, Y chromosomes of mammals have been shrink. Well, not not yet, but coming. <laughs> I'm not joking. <coughs> I guess getting rid of us with the court systems wasn't enough for them. So now, now, well. They're just going to get rid of men. And I guess somehow, whatever the hell is left, will be able to reproduce by itself. And if you think that that's happening el natural, I've got news for you. crazy so welcome back I uh, I thought that that was a extremely important news story don't you so this morning I was getting the video clipped out and edited so that I could in fact I've got the uh, YouTube upload screen right here ready to upload and I thought oh I need a picture for a thumbnail so I went to uh, L Google L and uh, and I did a search, right? And so when I did said search, it brought me here. And the very first article in the list says male Y chromosome extension extinction theory challenged. But I want you to pay close attention to the date. <clears throat> February 22 of 2012. And this is the article. And I'm going to put it in the description of the video as well. That way you can have both links. You can check out both articles. But I suspected something was up. When I read that last night. Because that's not. Believe me. Human beings are not evolving 
to a form of, of in which they can reproduce themselves, as in one sex that reproduces itself. Now, there are animals in the animal kingdom that do that. There are plants that do that. But mammals, eh, I'll tell you what. I really don't think the father ever had it in mind for there to be no males or females. I'm very suspicious of this. This goes right along with the evil, evil plans that they have in store. Wow. Anyway, that's what I got for you. Um, share out this information because I feel like after finding this, this quote-unquote new information from 10 years ago, huh, Wonder what kind of ride they're trying to take us on. Shalom.